Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. How are you guys today to doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I gotta move this down just a hair um, so I can see whether or not I'm in frame. Okay. Now, I'm gonna work on my little critters book here and I found a, another one that I can use the pictures out of. This is the only Little Critters book, golden book, that I've seen that's actually hardcover, but it doesn't have the traditional gold spine on it. Um, and I have two of these. As you can see, this one is old. But, um... I can use some of them for pockets and stuff, and this one is one little, I think this might have been actually the very first Little Critter book, yeah, it was made in 1975, um, that came out, um, so he's a lot smaller here than he is in, in other stories, so move that out of the way, and the only thing I have done, um, of course, you won't see the what the original looked like until tomorrow's video. This will be out first. I have um, some like different like white uh, pearlescent scrap of paper, six by six paper, and <clears throat> I had a couple of pieces left that just had like a textured pattern on it. So I covered the front. And the back, um, you know, so that I could put the pictures on. And the little strip that was left, I went ahead and, and made a template for because it's actually the same length as um, the book pages. So I can use my crop it out to poke, put the holes in. Um, Well, I'll just kind of mark it, and then I can use that for several, but then I can come along here and just mark it. Onto the book. To put the holes in there. I've already got this set to the uh, 3 sixteenths mark. <clears throat> Sorry if that shakes the camera, guys. <clears throat> Now, equally, I could have just came along and lined it up like that, and that's what I'm going to have to do now, because the other wasn't even. Okay. Okay. Now, let me line this back. 
make it. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the blue section on the inside. I can always cover that up with something. I like using this big crepido because it goes through more pages. Okay. Now, got a couple. can see that okay hope I've been in frame I haven't really been looking Pikachu getting into stuff.
All right. So I'm going to move that over. Now, we have our basic. Now I've got a uh, two inch uh, binder rings. You can pretty much use whatever size you want to, but I find that two inch rings work perfectly with a ring bound journal. I put one sheet made two little pockets for the insides to add us some leftover white bits there. And these book pages are in order. I uh, made sure to keep them in order so that it can actually be read. Of course, there's no guarantees that my future grandchild will even like the Little Critter books, but 
I'm hoping he or she will. Um, I'm actually making one for a boy and one for a girl. Um, just in case we have one of each. Although, if it does come to pass that my daughter, like me, could not have children, then adoption is definitely on the table. She does not mind the possibility of adopting children. Go ahead and glue that on. Oh man, I just pulled out the metal tip. To my glue. How the heck did I do that? Ah, oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, I gotta grab my pliers real quick, see if I can get that off. Okay. okay. There went my pen. And no, the metal tip will not come off. That one didn't have one either. Alright, fine. I'll just use it without it. Still works. Yeah. 
sure. Mm. That covers. Yep, yeah, it does. Okay. Great. I'm gonna glue this other pocket on real quick. For some reason, my little metal tips have not been wanting to stay on any of my glues. And I'm just using the Pioneer glue stick to glue this down. Making sure to get the edges really good. But because this is kind of thin paper, you know, it will stick. Okay. So there's what that looks like. Pressed a little too hard on my glue stick there and got it nasty. Alright. There's the back of it. Now all we gotta do is put the little doodads on there and then decorate up some pockets and journaling cards tags so it's a pretty quick process once you get the, the main part you know okay so move my pen out of the way don't need those don't need that so I can put this over here in some scraps because I might use those uh, to back the journaling cards or something. Okay. Move the other pictures I've got. So I've got some pictures ready to go. got various laces and ribbons and stuff
works. All right, I'm gonna add a, a special ribbon because they're not all gonna be the same. Because I didn't have enough of those. Okay, and then we'll start over. Go one. Instead of another way, so I'll do this pink ribbon. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, I gotta go. Shut up. And Sorry about that, guys. Uh, my mom had to leave real quick, and Pika Chu is acting up. She was barking and carrying. Well, she's been doing that all day, all morning. Barking and carrying on. Pestering everybody, she just does that. Okay, now I got one more. Don't want a piece of lace. Maybe this ribbon here. Now, I haven't trimmed anything off of this one. I don't know if I'm going to yet. I'll figure that out in a minute. Okay. There's that one. Okay. Oops. Okay. There's that one. I'm going to do this ribbon first, and then I'll do the pink lace later. Yeah, more than likely these will be trimmed off. I don't usually leave them super long. Well then, okay. It's all good. Be trimmed down anyway, so it won't matter.
course, that's also optional that like, you can leave them long if you want to, but I don't know that I will for, um, you know, it just depends on what it looks like when it's all done. I didn't trim the other ones down that I used uh, when I did the other journal. I'm going to put it together. Uh, but the strips were all pretty much the same size, so that's the reason why I didn't. Okay. Now you don't have to like dress yours up with these. I just thought it would be cute. You know, for something different. Okay, now one more. We'll do uh, that. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> so that is what she looks like. The little girl version. Uh, minus, you know, the decorating. I haven't done that yet. But I will. And we'll do that in our next video. So there is the, the girl version. And I will uh, show you again what the boy version looks like. Because I haven't I haven't done the pockets and stuff on that one either. So we're both at the same point on those. And this one hasn't been trimmed. But they were roughly about the same size. So. There they are. I think they're both cute. I think they'll look good once they're done. So, and decorated up. But as you can see, the boy version is a little bit brighter. Girl version is a little more pastel, not intentional. That's just how the the book pages and stuff happen to come out. But that's okay. Uh, either way it goes, I think it looks pretty good. I might add a few more uh, strips of uh, material on this one. Just to make it a little fuller, I don't know. I haven't haven't completely decided yet on that. Okay. There we go. So when we come back, we'll work on pockets and decorating them up, and I will see you guys back here really soon. Bye!